everyone and welcome back to Curly and Yarny. Today's video I would like to call it What's Looming because it is a video in which I'm going to give you uh, some updates. Uh, so I'm going to uh, tell you more about my first week of school and I'm also going to uh, tell you what is going on on my tree looms at the moment just so that you know what is, uh, what is happening with me uh, at the moment. So if you're looking for a project video this is not the video for you. If you're just curious or if you just want to know what is uh, going on, what's going to happen in the next week with the channel well stay tuned I will talk about all of this so without further ado let's get started so we're currently Saturday morning so uh, I just got ready to go to work but uh, I only have to live in about 20 minutes so I decided to sit down and uh, record this video uh, to do a recap of my week so so it's all very fresh in my head and my week so my first week of school but I'm also going to uh, tell you about the what's going on with my looms but I feel like what's interesting you the most is uh, what's happening with school so let me just take a sip of coffee and I'll tell you all about it so <laughs> For my first week of school, uh, just to put you in context in case you don't exactly know um, what is happening uh, with this, so I um, got uh, enrolled into a program and it's all in French but the name of the program is uh, Technique des métiers d'art en construction textile given by the Cégep de Limoilou. <laughs> if I do a loose translation of this, it would be a, a technical program in a textile construction uh, given by a college here in the uh, city of Quebec. And uh, this is a, a normally a three-year program. So we have a uh, technical classes in which we learn all the different techniques to uh, do fiber arts, but we also have some uh, visual art classes to kind of like pump up the creativity. And we also have um, some classes about the more like business size and how to be an entrepreneur in this and like how to plan out your project for after school. When the week started I had a schedule that had six classes over the course of five days and that kind of freaked me out a lot. Uh, so this is one of the reasons why I wasn't that active on Instagram this week. I was just oh my god what is going to happen because um, since that I would have like five like all like classes all week and then I would also need to work well that was just leaving me no time at all just to have like free time or to work here on the channel so uh, I started to like panic and look at all of my different options and uh, I ended up deciding to uh, do the program over the course of three uh, four years instead of three years and this way I uh, would be able to have a uh, lighter uh, sessions lighter semesters so I ended up dropping two classes. I know I'm going back to school and I'm already a dropout, but <laughs> I dropped out two classes that I had in visual arts and I'm only keeping for this semester classes that are really related to uh, the, the textile. So I have a, a weaving class, which is like intro to uh, weaving. I also have a knitting class. I have a, a sewing class and I also have a um, uh, a class that's more about um, like uh, it's like intro to the profession of being an artist in the textile industry which I'm very excited about I feel like it's like it's all about like doing research and understanding like our the, the fields so uh, the first class of the week was a weaving class and I feel like it was kind of a sign that I <laughs> enrolled in this program to get better at weaving and to learn more about the text like to learn to be better at weaving and then poof first class is weaving for me it was a sign like yeah you're on the right path so yeah first class was a uh, weaving and and uh, it's really like the basis uh, so I uh, really they take us like from the beginning so uh, most people in my class have never woven before and um, so really the teacher is starting from the, the very beginning which I really appreciate because I feel like I've learned a lot by uh, by myself with books with the, with some videos and uh, I'm happy to just like go back to the basis and I'm also uh, glad to see how she does uh, stuff so she my teacher is very nice and she's a she's an like accomplished artist so I love like like learning from her and learning like different tricks already off the bat in my first week I learned something new so we uh, learned to uh, wind a warp on like a big winding mill so I've never used that I've always only used uh, like a uh, warping board so that wasn't pretty impressive so the winding mill uh, we mine the warping mill we uh, so the uh, warping mill we worked on is like so huge like, <laughs> like it takes like half <laughs> it would take half of my room right here but the first semester of the weaving class is going to be uh, like 
very the basis as I mentioned so we're going like the first few weeks we're gonna spend some time uh, learning about plain weave then it's going to be uh, learning about twill and the uh, last uh, couple of weeks would be uh, weaving a uh, satin and I'm glad because satin is something I just like can wrap my hand around my I can just cannot wrap my head around it so sometimes I try to read on books and I'm like I don't understand the structure so I'm glad to have someone explain it to me like more in details and be able to like see it firsthand. So that's what's happening for this class. Let's, let's talk about the sewing class. So of all the classes this semester, this was the one I was the most excited about because I've been uh, talking about this a lot on my channel. Well, a, lot, a little bit. I feel like my sewing skills are very poor and um, I sew my hand towels, but I still have a lot, a lot to learn. And I right off the bat when the class started the teacher she did like a big speech on how sewing is hard uh, you won't get out of this class being like super good uh, you're gonna need to practice a lot and I just make saying it this way sounds very awful but it really made me feel better because I struggle with sewing and I feel like maybe I was a problem but the way she said it, it's like no no everybody's struggling and it's just normal and like it, it takes a lot of time to be good at it so that just made me feel like so much better so uh, <laughs> I'm starting this class like again really from the beginning so uh, we learn how to thread the uh, sewing machine first and even though I knew how to do that already I learned a few tricks especially with like the bottom bobbin I sometimes struggle to put it in so I had like a one like small tip there and I was like oh I never noticed this or oh, it helps a lot so <laughs> I was already satisfied with my class at that moment and now the sun is shining yeah thank you <laughs> and then the uh, other class i had uh, was a uh, uh, knitting on the knitting machine and uh, this is something i had never thought in my life i would ever do before enrolling to this program i didn't know it even existed <laughs> but it is actually a lot of fun and it's kind of hard to start with uh, but i feel like we're going i'm going back to, to to enjoy it a lot. Uh, I, my heart is still set on weaving but I'm glad I get to experience this other kind of, uh, of crafting because I feel like it's like there's a lot of things that to do uh, with uh, with this. Uh, for the first class uh, we get to know a little bit more the machine so this monster <laughs> kind of like it's very big and uh, we also uh, knitted two assembles so the first one just to like get going and the second one we even added stripes so we went crazy <laughs> and added some stripe in it. Uh, so while doing the first one everything went pretty well. For the second one I think I did every possible mistake in it, so very great learning experience. And then there is uh, the final class, uh, so uh, the class that is an uh, intro to being a professional in the textile uh, being a professional textile artist and uh, this one I really really enjoy as I mentioned a little bit so I feel like it's going to uh, give me like more of a plan of my future uh, help me focus on like what I need to work on um, also, uh, to the course of this class, we're going to meet up with a uh, different textile artist. I think we're going to meet three of them. So I'm excited to see how uh, do they make a living out of it and how like they apply everything they learn uh, through school uh, into their real life. So uh, I really, really enjoyed this part that is really like hands on, like let's work on your future. We're not like giving you all the techniques and then like just throwing you into the world and like <laughs> good luck. So uh, very excited about that. So. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> Now let's talk about what's happening on my looms at home. Uh, so uh, on uh, my uh, rigid halo loom, uh, this is the easiest one. So uh, I've uh, warped it in my last video for uh, dish towels using 8-4 cotton. So uh, this is uh, still happening. I'm still weaving it. Um, the last few weeks were a bit hectic. So um, I worked a lot and then um, with the beginning of school, I was a bit nervous. I had a lot of things to plan too. So I didn't weave that much. Uh, I'm about halfway through the first towel. So really it's uh, still a very uh, a work that is uh, a lot in progress <laughs> but I feel like this week I might be able to weave a bit more because I'm gonna have uh, some day offs uh, since I changed my uh, school schedule so uh, stay tuned for uh, the next video on this loom where I will show be showing you about uh, all about the weaving of those towels and honestly they're I think they're turning very well so I know I know I'm I'm biased but like they're turning very well 
and this is my cue I need to uh, get to work so uh, I will keep talking talking to you uh, tonight or tomorrow if I have time so uh, so you you won't notice that I'm gone so see you right back <laughs> Welcome back. So it's a new day. I didn't manage to film everything I wanted to uh, last Saturday morning. So now we're Tuesday afternoon. Uh, so I had to work the whole weekend and I had class tomorrow. But today I have the day off. So I've just finished off my homework for the week. So I can come back to uh, talk to you. So now let's talk about what's going on on my dirty loom. So uh, right now on this loom, I have been uh, warping for uh, the Deep Sea Blues project. Uh, so this is a project that I've asked you guys, uh, I have I asked you guys for your health so uh, I not so uh, long ago no actually long ago so a few months ago I uh, asked you what you wanted to uh, see me uh, weave on so I had two projects in mind I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do more and uh, the votes were uh, very equal so I got like 50 50 percent votes for each option so I feel like it was normal that I couldn't decide what I wanted to do because you were also uh, divided for the vote and actually the votes were uneven so there was one final vote that was the decisive vote and it it uh, decided for uh, the deep sea blues option, so a black cotton a black cotton warp, um, and then for the weft, I will be weaving with a blue tensile yarn. And um, so I have been working on warping my loom, and as you might know if you've seen my other videos about this loom, I have a sectional beam for this loom on this loom, and I don't have the proper tools to uh, warp it with, so I don't have a tension box nor a spool rack, so I'm always wrapping it like trying to go around it, and this creates a lot of frustrations for me and while I was working for this project I've just decided I've had enough so I've decided to take the sectional beam out of the loom but I've decided this like kind of mid warping the loom so I finished the threading of my project then I attached the uh, thread to the uh, front of the loom and then I rolled all of my warp threads onto the front of the loom. I cut them off of behind the loom and then I removed the sectional beam. And uh, when I was removing it, I realized that actually my beam now looks like a Swiss cheese. So it has so many holes in it. I guess the previous owners had the problem, like trouble screwing that in. So there's like so many holes, but it's still going to work fine. So I had to send it down a little bit because of all of those, because of all of those old holes, everything was a bit like like, like there was a bit of like pieces of wood that were sticking out and that would be bad for uh, for my warp so I sanded that down and then I uh, will be uh, I have a cord that I need to install back on the loom and then I have I still have the like a middle rod and after that I'm good to go so I can reattach my warp to the back of the loom roll it back all to the back of the loom and then I will be able to finally start weaving this project so this project so far has been lasting at least for four to five months so it's probably going to be again a few months until I can show it all to you so that's it for my dirty loom and now let's move on to uh, my uh, counterbalance loom as you know this loom is at my parents place and I've already made a warp for it I just need to find the time to go down to my parents place and warp the loom but since this is taking so long it makes me realize that it is so far away I really don't have that much time to go down there and when I go down there I just like spend all my time with my friends and family I don't really spend them in the basement working on the loom so uh, I've been thinking and I might bring it back with me here in the apartment next time I go down so uh, next we've been like measuring everything in the room that I have like my studio in and I think if I change some things up it might fit so <laughs> if we do this then I will have my three looms with me at home so I will have all my babies with me uh, so we'll keep you in touch and let you know if this is happening but this is on the project that is on the table and I haven't told my, my, my parents yet so uh, sorry mom and dad now you know that you might lose the loom <laughs> but I don't think they're so sad about it <laughs> so this is it now you know everything about what's looming in my uh, life at the moment uh, I'd be very curious to know what's looming in your life at the moment I wish there would be an option in YouTube comments for you to uh, upload pictures that I could see uh, what's on your loom at the moment but just let me know I would be very uh, curious to read you and I hope to see you uh, very soon in the next video take care and bye bye